it is important that you get used to using the binomial tables and are able to work out probabilities such as these. And I want to show you a good way of doing this. So let's say we have a binomial distribution with an n of 18 and a probability of 0.45. And first of all, we want to work out the probability that x is greater than 10. Now, what I've done is I've written out all the possible values of x from 0 up to 18. And if I want the probability of x being greater than 10, then I want greater than 10, so 11 upwards. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now, I can't look that up in the tables. But if I'm cunning, I will be able to look up, well, 18 and down. So 18 all the way down to 0, which I know already. I don't need to look that up. I already know that all of those probabilities would have to add up to 1. So I know that I could work out all the way up from 0 to 18 as 1. And then take away, subtract, the ones I don't want. I don't want 10 and lower. So I don't want x is less than or equal to 10. So, in calculating this, I can actually calculate that. And this is a probability I can look up in the tables. So, the binomial tables, um, and we're looking at n is 18, so we're on page 16, and 0 0.45, and then we want less than or equal to 10, so 0.8720. 0 0.8720, and so that's 0 0.1280. That's the probability I need. Okay? So having this number line can really help. So let's erase the red line and see what we're going to need next. So for number two, the probability of uh, x being between 7 and 12 inclusive. So we want from 7 up to 12 and including those endpoints. Now, I can look up in the tables less than or equal to 12. OK, so I can get all of those. And then take away the bit that I don't want from 6 downwards. So what you're trying to do each time is to try and write these probabilities in terms of an other probabilities that are always less than or equals to. That's the target here. So x is less than or equal to 12. Um, reading off from the tables, that's 0.9817. And less than or equal to 6. That would be 0.2258. Okay, so uh, 0.9817, take away 0.2258. Okay, so that's 17 take away, so 9, 7, 10, 5, 5, 7. So 0 0.7559. And that's the probability that I want. OK? Right, so let's get rid of those red lines again. And this time, I want from 4 to 13. But I don't want to include 4 or 13. So I want to cut out the 4. I'll have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, but not 13. So I want from 12 all the way down to 0. So the probability of x being less than or equal to 12. And take away the bit that I don't want from 4 down to 0. Now I already know what that one is, because I used it there, 0 0.9817. 4 I'm going to have to look up, so 0 0.45 and 4 is 0 0.0411. 
So that will be 0 0.9 uh, four zero six. I think. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. So that's how quickly we can do these probabilities. Having a number line drawn out can really help. Okay, visualize which uh, numbers you need to look up in the table. Okay, so I would suggest it if you're not able to go directly from this line to this line. So maybe a number line will help with that.